Welcome back, guys. We have another episode of Inside the Box with CJT Creations. I'm so glad that you guys came back to listen to me. Um, this is episode six on a quest to 100 episodes. This week, we have a huge Valentine's Day episode. And I did say we because I do have a guest this week. Would you like to introduce yourself? Hi, I'm Shelby. This is, yes, Shelby. We are, we've been <laughs> friends for how long now, would you say? What is it, like two two years? Uh, no. I was, we met summer well, 2018. Yeah, 2018. So so almost two years. This, it'll be two years this May? Something like that. But we oh, weren't really friends well, until <laughs> later. That's true. Because um, you thought I was weird and you were right. Okay, okay. So let's <laughs> so let's get into it. So like let's I guess formally tell the story of how we officially met. So we met um I say May twenty eighteen. We both actually worked together, right? Yeah. Um we worked at a nice little ice cream shop. <laughs> they shall <laughs> they shall not be named just for, you know, legal reasons or whatever, because there might be some tea spilled today, or you never know. Oh, there will be. I'm oh. just kidding. <laughs> Maybe, I don't know. Um, so, yeah, we met. Um, so, I was training. And she was already there, right? You started... I started in February. Right. So, a few months before you. So, yeah, you started a couple months before me, so you definitely knew the ropes. I was training. I was learning. I was um, learning the scoop, learning the ways of the scoop Jedi Master. Yo, did I tell you we got new scoops? Oh, really? Yeah, I'm really excited about it. <laughs> <laughs> like, Anyways. <are> they... <laughs> They're so much better. Really? Yeah. Are they, like, are they more nicer to look at? Yeah, that too. Like, it's a different metal. It's like a pretty hmm. color. Not like a pretty color, but... Are you still using both? Yeah. Or... Okay. Well, we only got two new ones, and then we got a new scraper. So you got three total out yeah. of, like, all the... It was, <laughs> well, like, four there's, per... There's, there's three like 12? wells with four scoops in each. So that's, what, a total of 12? Yeah. I can't math. I'm a history major. Um, I, <laughs> yeah, I got a D-plus right. in college algebra. <laughs> hey, these get degrees as well. Do they? Um, <laughs> wow. And then out of the three scrapers, we only got one new one. Mm. But that's it. Why are we talking about scrapers? Let's move on. <laughs> <laughs> um, but so, yeah, um, was learning to scoop in... So, and this ice cream place um, is a very busy place in the summertime, and we get a lot of business. Well, not we. I don't currently work there anymore. I still do. But um, it was a very popping spot. and For some odd reason. Yeah, I mean, okay. Like, it makes sense, but just tourists, man. Yeah. They think it's like the shit. Our town is a very touristy town. We live in Wilmington, North Carolina, and... I mean, it's the, near the beach. Just so many beaches near us. So a lot of people love to come to the beach, especially in the summertime. So, yes, and we were downtown area, so which is a historic downtown. And so many people kind of just, you know, showed us up. And when you go in there, you smell oh the whole God, place. Oh, my God, can I put it in a candle? Yeah. Can I get free <laughs> smells like they make their own waffle cones? Yeah, it's... it's uh, <laughs> I, you can literally... Working there, you can know exactly what each customer is going to say. It's like... Especially old white men. Mm, yes. Or women, honestly. They all suck. Old but like, Caucasian people. Just, just say white men. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I'm here. I'm white. <laughs> no, I mean, that's the proper term. It's Caucasian. All right. Well, I would say, but I don't, I don't define Reginald <laughs> and Gertrude the, don't really care about that. That's true. You are the anthropology expert that's a minor um and i don't know about expert i mean you know thanks. more than the average joe or the average cj um well, yeah, c's, to get, c's get those degrees man i don't know about that but <laughs> <laughs> um so yeah so it's just like one of those places that are just like you know people love it because it's like okay i can get something and i can take it back for um my, my family my family and stuff who lives like that. right next to the same ice cream shop because it's a franchise, but they don't realize that. Yeah. I mean, our place is, I would say our place looks special just because it has this mom and pop feel. It's, I mean, the building's what built in like it 1901. It has the very historic 1901? I think Bro, so. No, it's earlier than that. Has it been earlier? Yeah. All of downtown is 1800s. Hmm. Okay. Yeah. Because, yeah. A, a lot of the Market Street and waterfront areas are going to be, wow, I sound like a nerd, are going to be <laughs> 1800s. I mean, that's, that's interesting. Like, I mean... I think that part of history is pretty cool. Like, just understanding, like, how long, especially when something's still here, mm -hmm. like, and you can see it, you can tangibly see something versus, like, this happened, 
but we can't really see it now yeah. today. You know what I mean? It's kind of like a big difference. It's harder to uh, comprehend, you would say. But yeah, this place, um, this ice cream store, um, we had a lot of stuff. We had fudge, ice cream, candies, caramel apples, um, fresh strawberry, chocolate covered strawberries, rice krispie treats, truffles, marshmallows. If you wanted it dipped in chocolate, we had it. Pretty much, yeah. Um, <laughs> it, it was a cool spot. I mean, I think the one thing about that place I can say is that the it was tough. The summers were very tough just because of the high demand and the high customer, how high rate of customers we got in. But the people that we worked with from the jump. <laughs> for the most part. For the most part, were really cool. I mean, me and you, show we we're still friends, even though I, have no, I don't work there anymore. And, <laughs> you know, and it, it was a, summer 2018 will go down as a legendary summer because we That was the first time I blocked, so I blacked much. out. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I blacked out many times. Actually, I don't know. I might have blacked out more this past yeah, summer. Yeah, but that was an ice cream party. Oh, true. Our, our work friends would always throw parties downtown. And um, me being... The underage weenie that I am <laughs> blacked out with all of my friends for the first time and then fell asleep in a bathtub. <laughs> Besides the point, but I mean, that's a legendary story. I mean, I've, I don't know, I don't think I, I don't think blacked, blacked out, out with, with no, actually, yeah, yeah, I have it. I mean, I would get pretty wild, but I think the wild is why I was definitely summer 2019. Which is last summer, and you were a little crazy, then. <sighs> I can't say anything because I blacked out that summer too. <laughs> I think the last time I, mm. and I'm still not of age, and I went to the bar, but I shall not name these bars. <laughs> <laughs> oh. But uh, thank you for serving me. <laughs> <laughs> Cheers. Um, <laughs> <laughs> thank you for your service. <laughs> I think it was like last August is the last time I blacked out because oh, uh, was I it lost for my Ian's wallet. birthday? No, Ian's birthday's in November. Oh wow! Oh I'm wait, off. did I get fucked up? No, that was two years ago, Ian's birthday in 2018. Oh, maybe Ian was fucked up. I don't know. Or was it 2017? No, Ian or maybe I'm thinking 20... of Marvin, because Marvin's a oh, little Marvin's lightweight. Light, yeah, he's definitely lightweight. He says he's not, but um, no, he's def- homeboy well, totally is. He's definitely lightweight. I could out-drink Marvin in a heartbeat. <laughs> I guess we got to put this to the test this year. Let's do it. St. Patrick's Day. Let's do it. Because I'm not drinking until St. Patrick's Day. That's a sad life. I got like... Natterdays in the fridge with I mean, like I'm just wine like, <laughs> and I got Malibu and everything. I mean, I'm just trying to get my liver. I don't have an issue, by the way. I mean, I'm just in college. That's true. <laughs> that is just the college diet. And I'm put, trying to... Oh, I should put Malibu in this. Mm. Wait, what kind of Malibu? What flavor? Do, is there multiple just, flavors? No, it's just coconut. I'm pretty sure. Huh. I mean, I can't go to the liquor store, but uh, I'm pretty sure it's just coconut. I guess I have to do the research on that one. But yeah, like this place was kind of like a crazy place. Like the the personalities in general that we had at this store was uh, quite unique, and it was it, it is definitely can be a, a TV show or a movie. Well, you know, it has to be a TV show because we just so much shit happened at this place, and just the I wasn't even there for two years. Damn, was I? Yeah, I was only a year and a Almost. half. Almost. Yeah, just about, and. Yeah, so much stuff goes now. And I think I can definitely probably write a whole TV show from this shit. Probably. From this stuff. And it'll still be ongoing. Seasons. Like, oh, the, yeah. We'll, there's we'll no right. series ending. <laughs> oh, nah. So, um, but yeah, that's how we met. And then we kind of just grown friends just from hanging out and just, you know. You know, after I broke Charles's fridge. Uh, Damn, what that's... is it called? The, the handle. The, the, hand. the fridge handle. I broke his handle in his new apartment. <laughs> Like, not even a week living Not there. even a week into <laughs> moving into my new apartment. And I was like, hey, Shelby, can you grab something out the fridge? <laughs> my super strength ripped off the handle. And see, see, if you don't know Shelby, Shelby is like six foot five, <laughs> 250 straight built. So she just kind of just yanked it. No, she doesn't look like that. <laughs> but she's a strong girl, <laughs> obviously. And, <laughs> Am I? You know, or was your refrigerator just weak? Oh, wow. You know, it's fine. <laughs> After that, she never showed up to my apartment again. Thank God. I'm just kidding. Um, but yeah, so that's how we met, and we kind of um, we've been friends since, and we've been doing our it's thing. It's snowballed since then. Yeah, it's a crazy, weird. We've both picked 
picked up each other from like random parties being drunk as fuck. Mm. Shelby's definitely one of the best DDs, even though Thank she kind of scares me at times. At first, at first, at first when she DD'd, I was like, ah. You thought you were going to get motion sickness or like some whiplash. Yeah. Well, I, thank goodness I was drunk. So that kind of <laughs> helped. So then I was like, ah, oh, fuck. But I was also in the back seat. But then ah. it just keep happening. And I was like, okay, I'm used to it now. And everyone's afraid of my driving. But once they've been in it for a while, they're like, all right, this ain't nothing, you know? <laughs> like, and yeah. I don't know if that's a good or a bad thing. I mean, I think it's just like, hey, we haven't died yet, you know, knock on I once had a guy tell me that I wasn't allowed to drive because I was a horrible driver, but he never even rode with me. Mm. It was just because of a story I told. I'm not going to tell that, though. (laughs) Point of the story is that I ran over a cinder block. Anyways. Next. Okay. (laughs) (laughs) Okay, so, Shelby, today is our Valentine special. Yes. So what is your <laughs> um, experience with Valentine's Day? Or Never had up? one. My mom has always been my Valentine. And honestly, let's get on a real note. Okay. Shall we? I, I've never had a Valentine's. And I'm honestly okay with that. Um, I, I honestly think that Valentine's Day is overrated and kind of stupid. And it's not because I've never had one. Like, mm-hmm. I, swear, I swear to God, it's not. I just think, like why show like why take one special day to show the person that you love that you love them you know what i'm saying like True. i'm not saying you have to like give your significant other flowers or like candy or any, every day i mean i prefer to make chicken but like whatever <laughs> but or you know some spicy nuggets from wendy's but like the thing is is like don't bring me chocolate and you know flowers just because these companies told you to or just because like you think like you think it's what you should do on this day right like i get you that. know like show me that you like me like in other ways like you know drive so i don't have to um <laughs> <laughs> please uh, just, drive so she doesn't have to drive save just, someone's life <laughs> just um, kidding well but no here's the counterpart though this is something i've been thinking about recently is like i understand you have 365 days of the year to show someone that you love them and like your appreciation for them but i know you know life does get in the way a lot right and so most of the times they kind of people revert to like anniversaries birthdays or like stuff like that to kind of like make something special so why and like so why not be like a day that's kind of like it's not his birthday so i gotta do something for him it's not you know what i mean like i guess our anniversary is kind of like our thing but it's just like another day can to just really you know appreciate that person it kind of, and it gives you an excuse to do it and and you get some specials so you so restaurants kind of help you out and but do they though because then they just jack up the prices and say there's a special going on i mean and then like kind of yeah you, gotta, I mean, you get like, the two for 20s at applebee's you could be sensible <laughs> Golden Corral, yeah. exactly you know get the four for four but get like the four the eight for eight for eight <laughs> yeah eight items for you know yeah. two four for fours you know I just, I don't know. There's something about it where it's just like, I don't know. Maybe, okay. So I'm a Leo. I don't know if this says a lot. (laughs) Oh my goodness. One girl say. I actually don't like do the whole like astrology thing or whatever. But when I do read horoscopes or things about Leos, I'm like, oh shit. Like this is kind of true, you know? But I'm like. You're a Leo. I am a Leo. My brother's a Leo. He's the first day of Leo, actually. I think I'm towards the end. Okay. That's interesting. Because they also just shifted the whole thing, too. I don't know. Okay. I don't know, bro. I told you I'm not into changing. this kind of thing. Everything's always changing. But supposedly, Leos are very caring. Okay. And I think I am. I mean, I'm pretty rude, but, like, I'm caring to people I like. True. Okay. Like, you have to be, like, a, like a, a good person to me. Right. You have to level up. Yeah. To you, a certain you status. You can't be just like some jank shit person. Right. You can't. Yeah. Not everyone gets this like. Yeah. Yeah. I get that. I, get I that. can be a very good person to someone. But like. And so maybe that's why I think. Like I was talking to someone. And they were like. It seems like you give a lot of your attention and time. To someone who you think deserves it. And I'm like. True. So to me, Valentine's Day doesn't seem like it should be special. Because. Like I get what you're saying. Because like. So you do get caught up in life and stuff. Mm-hmm. But to me, I would like, you know, I would get, I guess like I would just like show my significant other um, that like I love them or, you know, whatever, just by doing something for them. Like it could just be something like li- like literally insignificant. Like, right. you know, you come home after a long day and like you just like know that they're not having a good day. But like you want, like you're like, you know, what? I'm going to cook their favorite meal. Mm. Like you had something else planned, but you're like, no, we're going to cook their favorite meal. Or like, I'm going to take them out for ice cream or right. like pelicans. 
Pelicans. I actually haven't been to Pelican you Snowballs gotta yet. Gotta go to Pelicans, and also dogs can get dog snow cones. Fun mm. fact, I got Mila one. That's dope. I think, yeah, I think There's Pelican's like, like right, right there. there. Yeah, yeah, it's like right there. Went to the one at Carolina Beach, though, so I could take Mila to the beach. Oh, that's like a double whammy. You go to Carolina Beach, go to Pelicans, and then go to Brit's Donuts on the way home, get you a dozen. That is insane. So this is, quick side note, this is a place called Brit's Donuts. If you're ever in the Wilmington, well, Carolina Beach area, which is 30 minutes South? It's not even 30. Oh, okay. Everyone's 25 so dramatic. Minutes. Okay, first of all, not everyone speeds. <laughs> you can't. It's 55. You can go 60. Okay, but there's hella state troopers down there, so. What? what? Five anyways, miles over. Unless anyways. they're like a dick. No offense okay. to troopers. So, okay, let's say it's only 20 minutes. I'll say it's a, a 25. Let's look at 25 minute drive from I mean, ooh, 20 sorry. to 30, depending, depending on traffic. Yeah, depending on traffic, because traffic can be stupid here. Um... And so it's this little like, I guess you could say mom and pop like donut oh, no, shop. No, it totally is. And if they only serve one donut, and only one kind, just one donut. The and OG, it's such a good donut. Yeah, it's like light, fluffy, glazed. It's better than any Krispy Kreme donut you will ever eat in your life, and it's Big warm. Facts. Every time you get it, it's warm. Big fact. I didn't even make it fresh to order. Yeah, I believe. Yeah, like you, like you can watch them make it too. And you know what? As like since we used to work in a ice cream shop, like I hate when people like come in and they're like, "Oh my god, I like you guys make this." Or like they watch <laughs> you make cones or you for know, watch. hours. Like yeah. they, I, we They'll literally see there. people like like have nothing else to do with the day because they're on vacation and watch <laughs> someone make fudge or make cones for like an hour straight. Yeah, eating their ice cream, just staring at you, then asking question after question after question is this your homemade recipe yes can i get the recipe (laughs) can you guys put this in a candle no (laughs) although i do say that about bojangles but like true fun fact i love bojangles i had it this morning and i had it yesterday what'd you have this morning cajun biscuit man oh yeah cajun biscuit is pretty good bow rounds (sighs) sweet tea Mm. that's a classic southern breakfast i think i'm making fried chicken this week too Okay, we'll talk about that later. <laughs> I think Charles would wife me up if he could. <laughs> he likes my sweet tea already. Oh, sweet tea will put me in a coma. Mine will probably put you in a diabetic coma. Yeah, and I'll be okay with that because, you know, 35 is all I need. I just need... Oh, my God, that's 10. <sighs> Ooh, okay, anyways, let's move it on. Um, so, with Valentine's Day, there is, comes um, music and different... I guess uh, mood setting music that you can play. Baby making. Oh, <laughs> yeah. You like, November kids, we're looking at you. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. Wait, wait, that's, is it November? Wait. I think so. March, April, that's May. That's the 11th. June, so, July. yeah. Nine months. Oh, shit. Now, if you're wait, no, pre- October. Wait, no. No, because October is the 10th month. April, May. So, it'd be eight. Oh. I, I'm not good at math, but I, do, I can do that. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. Well, if you well, unless you're like a preemie, you know. But the the average, you know, I think what is it called a gestation period? <laughs> is it gestation? I have no idea. <laughs> I'm not very keen with the female body and the. Honestly, pregnancy. I'm a female, and I don't even know. I just know I take my birth control and move on with my life. Yeah, and I, I don't want to know. Cut that out. <laughs> <laughs> I don't want to. Well, okay. <laughs> I don't want to know about pregnancy stuff just quite yet. Honestly, so, um, neither do I. So, and I yeah. want children, but like I kind of just want them to like magically like appear. Like, oh hey, what's like up? Like the stork, you know? like the story. Yeah, they tell you, you know what? Like, like the if the stork was a real thing, I'd be so here for it. But like, you think I want to push this giant ass like baby with a giant ass head out? Like, no. Well, I mean, you maybe we should cut this part. <laughs> <laughs> um. Okay. <laughs> um. Yeah. So, music. Yeah. So, definitely February is kind of, you know, I guess love is in the air. And I'm going to hit it with some Lysol. But. <laughs> Kill the bitch. <laughs> um, so, what are some music um, you, I guess, I won't say Valentine's Day theme per se, but like. Love theme. Love theme, yeah. Because love can be anything. Oh. That's no. that's like that, that is was, that deep? That was kind of deep, actually. Well, if you think about it, like you don't have to love somebody else; you can love yourself. Very true. Which a lot of people don't. Or it could be about you know a certain family member or something like you know like I love my mom a lot, and like a oh. song could be dedicated to her. Like it doesn't have to be right. someone specifically that you're probably having sexual relations with, unless you're you know waiting until marriage. But like or Bill Clinton. <laughs> okay, um. I said what I said. <laughs> um, no, um, 
I just saw a um, commercial, a Super Bowl commercial where... You did there not was... watch the Super Bowl. Oh, well. I was working, okay. making that money. True. I I'm was poor. not. <laughs> <laughs> um, it was like, I th- ah, it was like a weird commercial because it was like, I think it might have been a life insurance commercial, but it was saying... No, no. <laughs> <laughs> oh wait, are they life? No, insurance? actually, it might have been a like a, a politician's commercial, which like it was like a, it was it just did a complete flip. Um, but <clears throat> it was about how there was four different types of love based in Greek um, ancient history with like ah uh, yes, it also mentions it in the Bible. Yes, fun it's... fact: I come from a very Christian home, Southern Christian home. Yeah. Ha <laughs> ha. <laughs> Anyways, um, and it was like, um, like how I'm definitely gonna butcher this, but there's like different types of love, like love that you have for like a child, love that you have for like um a spouse, a spouse. Then it's a love that you have for like um a grandparent, and then it's like a different type of love for um a god. Well, not really like that. It was just like um well. I know in the Bible they talk just show about being gothic. care. Oh, just like being like a loving person and doing stuff for other people. Um, I gotta look it up, but um, it was really good. Like that was interesting because like how we just kind of this is definitely on plan. Just like go, talking about love because I mean you can't like of course you sh- I think you should always start at home base, which is yourself and love yourself, and you start from there, and then you kind of work to like loving other things, whether it's the dog. And then you got a spouse. Do I love my dog. Love you know, my cat. You, yeah, your your parents, of course. You know, and then you know, once you kind of build that like base of love, I think then everything. I think you will start to attract. <laughs> bless you. I I oh, coughed. I cough? oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> Thanks. Awkward. But um, yeah, I think um, yeah, like just loving yourself. I think that's really important. Um, yeah, I don't know how I got there. Because I said you could love yourself first. Right, like, yeah. you don't have to love someone specific. You can just love yourself. But. True. That's very true. Um, so, for the songs, one of one song that really... Con- okay, I have a playlist called... Um, oh, dear God. <laughs> <laughs> um, where is it? Where is it? Where is it? I, oh, How Chip and Rex Were Born? It's it's like an inside I joke. forgot that's what you want your kids' names to be. Yeah, well, okay, so <laughs> Chip is short for the full name that I want to give my kid. His real, his full name will be Tyrannosaurus. Yeah, but that's for Rex, not Chip. Oh, I'm sorry, what did I say, Chip? Oh, wait, <laughs> what was the Chip name? I don't know. I forgot. Oh, my God, I can't believe I forgot my child. Wow. Might have been Chocolate Chip or <laughs> mm, maybe Chip Skyler. Chip Skylark? Yeah, Skylark. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Skylark. For, um, my shiny teeth and me. Yeah. Teeth and oh, man. Yo, I don't know. I don't remember. You told me a long time ago. Hmm. But yeah, at least, but Tyrannosaurus, I think it's a dope name for a kid, which means king. Does it, though? It or are does. you just going after no. the dinosaur? <laughs> it, well, yeah. That, I mean, Tyrannosaurus Rex was the king of the jungle, so to speak. And why not? My kid be the king of this jungle that we call Earth and the human race. Ooh, that was deep. But anyways, um, so this song, you can see my face. <laughs> this song that um I really like, it's called Bliss by um John Legend. John Legend. Yeah, Tiana you put Taylor. that on my playlist. Oh my god, I love that song so much it's because one. it's just like it's a cool duet. Cause like, I think I, I definitely like that. I was seeing that. Do it at like once I find my wife and I'll be like one of our songs that we play like when we do karaoke because it's just such a beautiful song and when you find that right connection I think it'll just be like boom you'll get bliss I see what I did there so, but, um, <laughs> but um what about you what is some what is some songs that you like um I don't know like okay honestly beforehand. Charles told me to think of a love song. And I don't know. Um, <laughs> <laughs> like, do you... Okay, first of all, I guess the first question would be, do you like love songs? Or I guess like R&B 
soul type I, music. You're gonna hate me for this, and okay. probably a lot of your listeners. I hate R and B. Really? I hate it with a passion. Unless what I listen to is R and B, but I don't think it is. But I really hate R and B. Okay. There's just something about it that I I just let me see if I even have it. Okay, well, there's a few on here, and I, there's some of there's some on here that I don't think are technically R and B. So, like, what about R and B kind of like that you don't gravitate towards? I just I don't. Okay, maybe I'm like thinking of like two thousands. Okay, yeah. I mean, I, I just can't stand it. Anytime anyone wants to listen to it, I'm like cut that shit off. Okay. I don't know why. Hmm. Maybe it's a small town white girl and me. I don't know. Well, you <laughs> know, sounds really like, bad. I feel like some country can be kind of R and B. It can be, but I was never gonna name a country song solely because I didn't want to out myself. But here we are, <laughs> outing myself. Pew pew. Um, um okay, so I'm, can I give two songs? Sure, go for it. Okay. So there's one. It's literally called it's literally titled Love Myself, but it's by Olivia Bryan. Okay. And it talks about how she she's trying to figure out like life and how to actually start to love herself because in the rest of the album is about <laughs> her hating herself and her oh. liking other people. But like ruining it, and Ooh. this bitch been there. Um, <laughs> Charles knows that I've been there, and so I think it's super important, and it's definitely a hard thing to learn how to do right. because you you want someone to be there, but like you kind of have to be there for yourself, which I think which is gonna be great for us later because we're gonna segue into alone versus lonely. That's true. Um, that is our main event yeah. of this podcast. Wow, I should really be your co-host because I'm. Really <laughs> But I think that's one of the important things that you need to do is to just love yourself. And I mean, yeah, it's kind of basic that it's titled that, but like shout out to Olivia O'Brien. You're not listening, but you know, <laughs> one can hope. But I just think that's such a good song and such a good way to like, I don't know. I don't know. It's such a good song. If you, if you, it, positive it, vibes for sure. Yeah it's, yeah. it's just, it's like reassuring because, you know, like some boy, like, you know, hurts my feelings. I'm like, screw you. So I go and like, I mean, like, yeah, I listen to sad shit first. And then I listen to that song <laughs> sad because girl you need hours. a moment to like have a sad girl or sad boy moment. But like, which is true. Um, I believe this goes back to episode <laughs> one <laughs> where I talk about release and being able to, um, release different emotions whether that's crying and i think it's good to kind of like reset yourself but I was, i'm just trying to segue trying to get more promo on my podcast but i'll continue <laughs> but i think it's very important to like listen to that or like you know he, listen to positive things about trying to love yourself whether or not like you are physically or mentally emotionally doing it if you at least listen to something it's gonna kind of sink in a little bit it's like one of those things where like, you you know how like you listen to words in a song and you like just kind of like learn to, like you learn the lyrics and you just kind of like move forward and then like uh, next thing you know, you know the whole song. Right. Or it like becomes second nature, like that kind of thing. I feel like if you just like listen to it enough, it starts to sink It'll, in just a little right. bit. It may not be exactly like how much you want it to sink in or like what you need at that moment, but it's something more than, you know than it was before that sounds stupid let me let me put this into an example <laughs> shall we say okay. i know i'm taking forever on this no, but you're good. Take your time. i um when a boy hurts my feelings which happens very often for some odd reason i don't know i think i'm a fantastic chick but um, she is she's a catch <laughs> thanks um <laughs> but when a boy hurts my feelings um i had one recently we're on good terms now but <laughs> I told him that I was much better than what he, I, I deserved much better and I was much better than how he was treating me. And just like by saying that small little thing, like even if it's to yourself or to someone else, if they are treating you badly, don't do it if they're treating you good. Um, which I mean, you always deserve better no matter what, but mm -hmm. besides the point, um, I think just saying that to yourself or like when someone's like treating you badly, be like, I deserve better or I deserve more or you're treating me like shit. I like, you know, that's not okay. Right. It's in a way standing up for yourself, which does make your like make you love yourself a little bit more. I feel like it's something small, and what seems minute, but like gives you a little bit more power to yourself. Does that make sense? Yeah, yeah, I get you saying. Um. Yeah, you you just kind of you want to hear you have to hear like the like the positive words kind of over and over again in time and and kind of oh my goodness over and over again until you kind of like 
Yeah. It materializes. What is, what is it called? Pos- not positive reinforcement. I'm thinking of something else. Affirmation? Affirmation. Yeah. yeah. It's, you just, yeah. you got to keep reminding yourself that like, yeah, I mean, like sometimes I am a piece of shit, but you know what? I do deserve better. Yeah. <laughs> like, you know? Yeah. You got to always, um, cause I think. Like own up to your mistakes, but also make other people own up to theirs. Mm. And when you start to like, okay, you can't make other people own up if you don't own up. And mm. so yeah. Yeah. you also, and by you owning up, you're going to make yourself feel better too, because you're going to be like, oh shit, like I can't be doing this. If I don't, like, if I don't want them to be doing this, then I can't be doing this kind of thing. So you also build self-love that way. I feel like, right. because it's been hard. Like, you know, I hate to admit that I am wrong. Hate to admit it. Same. But <laughs> in order wrong, for though. friendships to continue and stuff, like, I got to do it. Like, be like, you know what? If I did say that, then, like, yeah, you're right. I did. Now, if I truly mean it, then I truly mean it. Like, you know, that girl's a bitch. That girl's a bitch. Sorry. But, true, true. you know, like, if I said something and I, like, I said it in the moment of, like, anger, then, like, you know, I'm going to be like, look, I said it. And, like, I'm sorry. I didn't mean to. I shouldn't have said that. But, like. You know, mm-hmm. oh, if you could see me, like, you know, do my little movement, then, like, you got to understand, but, like. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I get that. But song that makes me happy about love, mm. um, I'm going to go back to my childhood crush. You oh, already no. know who this is. Oh, no. <laughs> I want you to think of who this is. Um, I'm, Is it Cody Simpson? Yes. I thought you were going to say Big Time Rush. Oh. Although, <laughs> shout out to them, because they are the loves of my life. Kendall Schmidt, I love you. Um, but no, it is Cody Simpson. I saw him in concert with Big Time Rush when I was in the ripe old age of seventh grade. I think I was 12. You said age? Because <laughs> <laughs> I was like, I don't know, man. Yeah, um, I, I wore Cody Simpson's favorite 12? color and thought he was going to see me in the very back of the crowd, fall in love with me, and want to marry me. Um, that did not happen. Anyways, but it's, it's from one of his newer albums, and his newer album's a lot different sound than his old stuff obviously but it's called i fall in love too easily which <laughs> i do but interesting jk okay. i don't really i mean i do but i don't but besides the point <laughs> but it's still a good song like it just yeah. makes you feel like the melody is just right like the beat like it's all of it's like very relaxing and stuff and mm-hmm. it's just like talking about like someone that you love and you're just like wow like it's, it, oh shit <laughs> like <laughs> what was the song called again I fall in love too easily. Okay, I fall in love too easily. That's on B sides. That's the name of the album. And then the first song was love myself. Love yourself. Okay. Myself. Myself. Yeah. Love myself. I like it. I like that. That's I feel really like good. I took a lot of time on that, and I'm very sorry. Oh no, you're good. Um, actually, okay. So I have also a second song. Oh okay, and I totally ruined your second song. <laughs> no, no, you're good. Um, I'm just gonna sip on my ocean water. Shout out to Sonic. <laughs> oh, I don't know. See, okay, so I have four plus three. So I have seven songs on this playlist, and they all make me feel a certain type of way. And it's, I would say it's a good, like, it's a good mix. So the first song, okay, I guess baby I'm... baby-making songs? I mean, it is, it isn't. I mean, it <laughs> is what you make of it. They are um, baby-making songs. <laughs> so the <laughs> so the first song is uh, "Let Me Love You" by Mario, which is like a classic, and so then you know it kind of sets the mood just a little bit. You know, it's a good song, and then the second one is called "Bed" by uh, Jay Holiday, which is actually one of my fun fact, probably one of the songs when I was like eleven, twelve. I used to like sing at the top of my and you had lungs. No idea what it was about. I mean. Well, yes you know, no. like it's like one of those songs where you're like, you're just singing like, what is it? Uh, is it Rihanna's song where she's, uh, what's that one? Get Under My Umbrella? No. Um. The other one about where it's like sex in the air and stuff like that. And you're like, you don't really think about it. And then oh, you're like, yeah. and now like as an adult, you're like, damn. That's like, um. <laughs> you're like, it? damn, I can't believe I sang that from my mom. <laughs> my my conservative Christian mother. Oh, yeah. JK, she plays Christian radio. Nice. <laughs> um what's Shout that song mama autry mama autry we love her um hope she doesn't hear this podcast <laughs> <laughs> i will send her a link Dear God. she um, would kill me oh yeah my dad already started yelling about at me about going to church and i'm like bro you just started going again shut mm. up so you want to bring everyone along with him on his journey i don't want to <laughs> not not yet <laughs> If you're a Christian, I don't hate you. But like, <laughs> anyway, let's let's see, yeah. Yeah. so yeah, so <laughs> um, yeah, so like, I was like a kid, and I used to like sing this song so hard, and 
And it was just such a popping song. Like, I think, I don't know if Jay Holly had any other songs other than this song, but I just know, like. One hit wonder. Yeah. Mm, he was great, though. It's a great song. And I would just, like, my, like, not drop voice and my balls still up in my, you know, my body <laughs> would just sing at the top of my lungs. Then, of course, there's Bliss is the next one. And <laughs> maybe this is a baby making playlist. Um, <laughs> the next song is Back That Ass Up, which is, like, I the do club. have Bliss on mine. <laughs> Bliss is great. Bliss is good. Um, Shout out to the playlist Charles made me. You know, I that do my thing. That made me put that on my own playlist. Um, Anyways. <laughs> the next uh, song is Kiss from a Rose by Seal. I mean, I don't even have to say anything else. I mean, that's, it's Seal. I've never heard it. What? I haven't. Are you serious? Not even lying. Oh my God. This song is iconic. We'll, we'll play, I'll play it for you after this, but this is so okay. good. Then Maria Maria by Santana. Oh, God. This is just, I'm just going to say this. I'm going to put this out there. This this girl named Maria. Oh, God. One day. One day. That's all I'm going to say. And then the last song is The Matrimony by Wale. And it's kind of about like marriage. And, you know, being together. So, it's kind of a nice so little playlist. So, it's... The- it's really good on the baby making music, isn't it? Yeah, I mean, yeah. Once you uh, make the baby, then you got, of course, you know, uh, get you know, married. Normal people would say get married and then have a child, but you know, I mean, that's okay. what's normal nowadays. That's right? true. That's very true. So yeah, those are our songs of the week. Definitely go check those songs out. I will be adding these songs onto that playlist on Spotify. You can check it out. Uh, songs of the week by CJT Creations. Definitely go check that out. Oh, so we are down to the main event of the evening. And it's taken us how long? (laughs) Um, So the question of the day um, is, I guess I I guess I got phrased to put it into a question. Is there a difference from, no, wait, no, I'm not going to say it like that. Is there a difference between being alone versus lonely? Is that what you're trying to say? Yes, but like in a better way. Because like, I mean, I feel like that can be obvious. I wanted to make the question more. Um, well, how about we start off by defining the terms? Uh, okay. That's or good. how I define them. Okay. And so you can define them if you want. But okay. Yeah. So yeah, you go first. So like I define feeling. Okay. You can be alone, but you feel lonely. Okay. So if you think, okay, I, hear me out. Okay. Yeah. Hear yeah, me yeah. out. Yeah. I like being alone sometimes. I like living alone. I like having my own space, doing my own thing, living with my cat. Yes, I'm a cat lady. Um, <laughs> hit me up, boys. Um, no, just kidding. Don't, <laughs> don't do that. Um, <laughs> but I like being alone. I like watching my shows alone. That kind of thing. Okay. Sometimes I do get lonely and I do want some cuddles. <laughs> like, I'm not going to lie. <laughs> okay, yeah. I mean, which is like, you know, human nature. Like, I want, like, human contact. Like... Right. I remember, like, when Kim, my roommate, was gone for the whole month of, like, December and, like, half of November, I, like, kind of got, like, a little lonely, in a sense, because, like, no one was in the house as much, like, or no one was coming to my house, I should say, because (laughs) I lived alone. Like, I don't know if that makes sense. Yeah, no, no, I get what you're saying. Like, I had, wasn't expecting visitors, and you wouldn't have, like, another Like, I had Rima and A.A. Ron over. A.A. Ron? Aaron. Like guy Aaron, guy, yeah, A. A. Ron. Yeah, A. A. Wait, Ron. when did he, I thought he moved? He did, but it was before he moved. It was before he graduated. Oh, okay. We had a SpongeBob and smoke sesh. Oh, I do not endorse smoking weed. Actually, I might. I don't know. <laughs> um, if you're in a legal state, it's yeah, it's legal. So. Yeah, legal, anyways, legal only legal. Um, but <laughs> you were I'll saying you hear this. Um, um <laughs> yes, you were saying that, but like. Uh, I liked having people over, but at the same time, like, man, I love my own house. Like, right. I feel like there there is a difference between being, ooh, okay, ooh, let me let me phrase this. Okay. Let, me, let me put this out there. I Fuck them up. Fuck them up. So, like, how do I put this? I feel like in order to be okay with being alone, you have to come to terms that you can be okay with your thoughts and with yourself. Like, it's kind of like loving yourself, too. Okay. 
Continue. Yeah, keep thinking. Because like, that. if you, God, I don't, I'm gonna lose my train of thought here. Because like, if you can't be okay with like being alone with your thoughts and like being alone with yourself, mm-hmm. I don't, oh God, okay. Let me let me put it this way. I have depression. <laughs> <laughs> okay. No, okay, I legitimately okay. like I go to psychiatrists and shit. I have depression and I have anxiety, and I'm okay with stating it because okay. you know it is 2020, and you know people yeah, need you're not to, the only one. People, yeah, I'm not the only one, and people need to you know there, there's a stigma around mental illness, and we need to break that stigma. Facts, especially facts. in the South where we live at, mm. there's a huge stigma, and not Very as true. much because we're in Wilmington where there's you know two colleges. Cape Fear and UNCW. I mean, um, you got Wilmington College. Well, is that a real college? I don't know. Okay, Anyways. maybe three. <laughs> but um, but I feel like so like a lot of people like don't want to be alone. I don't want to be alone. With my thoughts all the time. Like, whew, whew, yeah. girl can get real depressed real quick. Mm-hmm. But like, I feel like I'm I, after being medicated. I'm coming to terms and like being able to like be by myself at first i never wanted to be alone right unless i was like truly depressed and i just like wanted to be by myself but even though like even then so it was like a depressed alone it wasn't just like okay like i'm gonna give myself like a girl like you know a pamper night like i take a bubble bath i drink my tea Mm -hmm. you know i do my nails like you know give myself like a good like refresh me night like i feel like that's what it is to be alone or like to like in that sense, but like okay. sometimes I get lonely and I just want my man by my side. True. And I'm not talking about my cat. <laughs> I'm talking about my man's. Um, <laughs> not that I necessarily have a man's, but like we're working on it. Oh yeah, I have more to tell you about that, anyways. Okay. Um. Okay. So <laughs> <laughs> that's how I define it. Okay. I feel like I, like- th- I feel like that didn't give like a lot of clarification. But I do feel like lone, lonely and alone are two different things. It just depends on how you view it. True. I, they are different. I can agree with that. Um, I think it's... oh, So being alone is a choice versus being lonely is not by choice. If that makes sense. Being lonely is not by choice? Yes. Because you can choose to be alone. Yeah. But some people who are lonely don't really have people to i guess comfort them or to be with them right so it's like you don't really have because like if if people who are lonely they would choose to be with people if they had people to be with if that makes any sense and so i think that's kind of like at least in my mind i think that's what's the biggest difference um it's totally healthy to be alone because you have to be able to kind of um you know, keep your relationship with yourself good and be able to make sure you can talk to yourself and make sure that you're good um, mentally, physically, whatever you have to do. And, you know, sometimes you got to be alone to do that and take care of it. Um, But being lonely is kind of can be uh, a constant um, thing that happens when you're alone too much. And then when you want to try to be with people, uh, you... You can't, and so it's it's like a it's a, a small difference, and kind of piggybacking on when you were saying about how like when you do get depressed and you want to be alone, I think um, a thing I think I someone told me this um, where the you want to be around you should be around people when you're in that. Um, at least like in a public place to f- to feel more social because people get more depressed by because when people feel depressed they isolate and when you isolate you become more depressed because of isolation so then it's like a circle like a vicious circle in a sense like well, like know. for me i know like i need my moment by myself like you can be I alone feel like it, i feel like it depends on people though right because like I need my moment to myself, and then like I'm fine again. Because you know me, mm-hmm. when I like if I know people, I'm a social butterfly. True. If I don't know you, I look like I hate you for the first two hours. <laughs> no, no, two years. Um, <laughs> yeah, that's about right. <laughs> um, but no, I'm saying like you can always be alone while being social, and it's not really like social in the sense of like talking and being outgoing. But like you can go to like a Target. Yeah. And walk around because you're just you're more around people, and so instead of just being close, I'm just off, out and about alone. Exactly, like you, by can still, you can be yeah. by yourself, but still with other people, mm-hmm. and because most people you won't know. But that, it kind of just helps, at least for me, it helps me kind of like 
okay, so it, it's like a, you feel the energy of being around people, so you're not by yourself, so then you see other people, and you could kind of interact with just whether it's just like, oh, uh, do you know where this is at, or, you know, whatever conversation you have while you're shopping or something like that, or, and I think that is something that's small that can help, um, but I think that's kind of like some, oh, it was, it was like a, who was it, who that, like a counselor I went to go talk to who told me about that, so, but, um, no, like I, I, I'm the same way. Um, I like being alone. Um, cause I like, I appreciate it. Cause I, I like to do a lot of weird shit when I'm alone and I got caught yesterday by my roommate <laughs> and I was like, damn it. <laughs> it was like, damn it. <laughs> like, cause like sometimes I don't want, you know, fuck, I'm out myself. So like I do some really fucking weird shit when I like, I'm, but I'm like so expressive and like, and, like my personality can be like pretty wide and like crazy oh, yes. with people as you can attest. But when I'm by myself, that gets amplified by times 10. And I'm like constantly making myself laugh doing like the dumbest shit. You hear me laugh out loud, like so fucking hard. You, if you would just, if my FBI agent was just listening, <laughs> he would just, Joe, be, are you listening to this? <laughs> right. He would just be like, what the hell is wrong with this guy? Like, and I, and, and, I, but I, I feel like that's like when I'm like my most best self and I'm just like free and I'm just really having a good time. And I think, cause I tell myself this, I, well, I say this a lot that like, I, can be alone because I make myself laugh so much that I don't need no one else to make myself Yo, laugh. Yo, I laugh at my own jokes and they're not even funny. Oh, oh I'm fucking hilarious. So, oh, okay. So, <laughs> okay. <laughs> but, like, you know, like, I can make myself laugh so much where I can entertain myself, which I don't need anyone else, you know what I'm saying? But at the same time, you can be lonely if you want to do stuff and be social, but you can't because, you know, you don't maybe not have people or people are doing like it's like, you know, 1 a 1 p.m. in the middle of the day when, you know, all your friends work, excuse me, and got lives and shit like that. So you're like, what are you going to do? You're going to hire a nanny to go hang out with you or something? Well, I feel like I looked up the definitions because okay. I wanted to see exactly like where we're like how we're looking at this and mm -hmm. what we're saying. So lonely as an adjective is sad because one has no friends or company. Okay. This is apparently from Oxford Dictionary. I don't know. It's just on Oxford. Google. Okay. Or like without companions, solitary. And the other one is just like unfrequent and remote, which we don't really need. Um, but alone as an adjective is having no one else present or as an adverb on one's own or indicating that something is confined to the specifics. Okay. We don't need to go over that one. But like. I feel like it also depends on how you put it because I feel alone versus I am alone. Mm. Oh, okay. Okay, because I feel alone to me is going to be like, I feel lonely. I feel like those are the same thing. Right. Technically. Okay, maybe not technically, but like, mm. I feel alone. Like, I feel alone because I feel like I have no one versus like, I feel lonely. Same thing. Like, if you read the definition, mm -hmm. has no friends, no companions. They're in the same realm, I feel like they are the same thing in some way. Right, So right. I think it also depends on how you use it. So for me, like, I'm okay with being alone. Right. Okay. Being but without I feel companion. lonely. Sometimes. Sometimes. Okay. That's, cool. <laughs> that's <laughs> like, good to put that in sometimes. When I just, like, want to cuddle up and watch that 70s show or, like, Criminal Minds or whatever. Right. Like, you know, like, I feel a little lonely. I'm like, man, like, you know, some nice man can't even be here. But, like... <laughs> Um, True. but like, but not by choice, right? You're lonely, not by choice because you well, wanted to be. With I am because apparently, well, not by choice because no guy wants to be with me, apparently. Oh, oh. That's rough. I shouldn't say that. Not my timing. Ooh, yikes. <laughs> it's not my timing, You're right? Okay. Um, but yeah, in a way, it is by choice. So I think it depends on how you look at it and how you use the word. Okay, that's true. I get that. Yeah, I get that. That makes a lot of sense. Um, you're just gonna drink my ocean water here. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I think um, they're definitely for both. There's a lot of negative connotations for it, just because of um, no one truly, I guess, wants to be alone. And unless you're just weird, like a horse girl from high school, you know. A what? A horse girl from high school? You never heard of those? Like on Twitter? No, okay. All right, let's, let's, let's push on. past that one. <laughs> um, but like, I think, I think. Um, so 
there's a lot of words I think growing up has such a negative connotation just because like depression, anxiety, alone, loneliness, like has a negative peak. Well, cause it, I mean, there is, um, there's a negative connotation to them because of how people view them and how people have viewed them for so long. Right. Like I feel like in the North or more Northern parts, I should say, mm-hmm. and out towards the West, like I want to say the Pacific coast, like California and everything. It is the Pacific, right? Yep. Okay. Good. <laughs> yeah. I'm not a geography major, man. Yeah, I just yeah. know history. Right. Um, <laughs> but okay. To me, like I'm, I'm from the South. I'm from North Carolina. I'm not going to specifically name where, but <laughs> it's a smaller town. So I feel like in the South or like maybe even the Midwest, I don't know what those people are like up there, but in smaller towns, especially conservative Christian towns, mm-hmm. it's more of like, you just need Jesus or like, and I'm not, I'm not hating on that because like some people, it, like it works for them, you know, right. but like there's such a stigma and like, I don't want to say hatred, but negative attitude towards a mental illness. Right. So it's like, you're not depressed. Like you just, you need to get out and do this or like, you're not lonely. Like you just, you know, like you have so many people around you and it's like, okay, like just because I have people around me, I still feel like no one's like listening to me or like you, cause you can sit there and you can like, I'm putting this in quotations, like be a good friend, right? but not actually be a good friend. Like you mm-hmm. can be like, yeah, I'm listening to you, but like not actually listen. Like you, you may not have a support system. And so I feel like there's such a stigma around like being depressed and like having and being lonely mm-hmm. and like mental illnesses and stuff, like especially in the South. And I'm just saying that because I've grew, I've grown up here and I know it gets worse the farther down you go. Right. You're just talking from personal experience, which I think. Yeah. Because um, my mom didn't think I needed to be medicated. She's like, you just need a better diet and like exercise life. And I was like, OK, hold up. Like, <laughs> I'm a little chunky, but like <laughs> I did JK, but like. I, I like it's not that like sometimes right. it is a chemical imbalance and like you exactly. can't help it and you know especially like with being in college like i have to say a lot of college kids maybe aren't necessarily like actually depressed like yeah college sucks and it's it a lot of stress it makes it harder you right. know get me wrong but this was also starting in like middle school high school for me yeah it just finally built up and i exploded in college so right. hello because college it's like a pressure cooker it, it really is speeds and, up like, a it lot does of not things. give you good results like no good rice is coming out of this pressure cooker, okay? Mm. This is burnt. At least mine is. <laughs> burnt at the bottom? That's the worst. Yo, <laughs> <laughs> Yo don't uh. even get me started. My mom would get me an air fryer or a pressure cooker. No, my because, no, my dad. Because, no, it was my mom. My dad was, like, wanting to get me, like, a pressure cooker or something. Mm-hmm. And my mom was like, I don't think her cooking skills are up there yet. And I was like... I mean, like, I haven't used the crock pot she gave me yet because <laughs> I've been lazy. It's still sitting in the trunk of my car since, like... Oh, wow. It was like, you got November. Christmas? Oh, wow. <laughs> it, was a, it was like October or something. Anyways, um, <laughs> <laughs> I haven't had any good soups. The only, Like, the soup that I make, I can easily make on the stove. I don't have to put it in the crock pot. True. So, like. I did get a crock pot and, like. Yo, I've been wanting to use it, man. It's a, I got a big one. Yo, I got a big one, too. Yeah, and I just, I don't know what. See it. <laughs> <laughs> I just don't know what to make with it. I mean, I have an air fryer, which is. I like, kind of want to make, like, chicken and pastry, and I'm pretty sure I can make that in there. Potentially. I don't know. Hmm. But like I'm not I'm not as good as the southern ladies that can make some chicken and pastry. Mm. It's like I feel like it's like a rite of passage you have to go to get to like a certain level. Like, like I mean I can make like fried chicken, but it's nothing compared to Mr. Gillis back home. <laughs> like nothing. Mm. Like he will have you like suckling on your fingers because there's so much <laughs> grease. Oh yeah. From the chicken, there's so much flavor. Grease, love. And he had honey bun cake. Like collard greens, mm. like real like baked mac and cheese. Some feel peace. I can feel the eye just coming along just thinking about this. Like, oh, oh, makes That's me nice. miss him. He's mm. such a nice man. What a nice man. Anyways, what were we talking about? Um, well, That's true love right there. Some good cooking. Yeah, okay. the best way to a guy's stomach is through. Wait, wait. <laughs> <laughs> I messed that up. The honestly, best way to a guy's heart is through his stomach. Honestly, though, I like food. Um, no, this guy I'm talking to. He who shall not be named. Um, <laughs> Charles knows, but. I do know. Yeah, you do know. Um, he, he, oh God, he's a health nut. He's like a freaking fitness nut. And it pisses me off. Because I was like, yo, like, you know, like you can cook and shit. But like, sometimes I just want like a greasy burger and a shake. And he's like, I can make a healthy version of that. And I was like, get your healthy ass out of my period burger and shake. Okay. Like, I just want a greasy chili cheese bacon burger. Okay. 
Like, I don't need your healthy turkey burger. No, mm. that's gross. Should be illegal. Turkey burger with turkey bacon. I'll, if someone would ever serve that <laughs> to me. I swear to God, if someone tries to pass off turkey bacon as regular bacon, <sighs> I'm decapitating them right then and there. I still remember the first that's time I had love. turkey bacon. If someone knows that you like bacon and they serve you turkey bacon, delete them from your life. Delete them. Facts. Like, they, they don't love you. They, they really whether, don't. <laughs> not, they well, if it's for your health... They don't love you Mm -mm. because you know what? I'd rather live a short but happy life with bacon versus a long, miserable life with turkey bacon. And that is on that period. (laughs) Speak. Um, (laughs) And that is on Southern cooking. (laughs) So I guess, okay, so let's, let's go to a verdict. So being, I am alone. Versus, I feel lonely. I feel lonely is two different things, but can both be positive? Question mark. I would not say I feel lonely is positive. Okay. Yeah. True. 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 So being alone can be a positive thing. Right. It's not all negative. But feeling alone or feeling lonely. Because think about it, alone is coming from alone. True. You know? So, feeling alone or feeling lonely, mm-hmm. the feeling of this, <laughs> I would say, has to be more on the negative side. If you can make it a positive, let me know. Okay. Um, at Shelby.Autry on Instagram, let me know. Yeah, um, there you go. Or on my nice Twitter. Plug. I don't know what my Twitter is. You can find me. <laughs> I don't know what it is. <laughs> Wait, hold on. Let me look that up. Because that <laughs> Follow me on Twitter. I'm freaking hilarious, actually. Charles doesn't have my Twitter, but I'm hilarious. <laughs> it's <laughs> wait. That's another story. <laughs> wait, why are you not on my Twitter? <laughs> Anyways. All right, let's um, keep going. <laughs> my so, Twitter is at Shelby underscore Autry, okay? Got so, it. So, yeah, let me know. Follow her for sure. If you think that feeling alone slash lonely can be a good thing. Mm. Or don't. That's okay, too. I mean, like, you don't have to, but, like. But you should. I'd like, I'd like that. <laughs> I'd like to know. So thank you so much, Shelby, for uh, joining me today. Um, episode number six, uh, Valentine's Day special. Um, this was awesome. This was a lot of fun. What'd it was you a think? lot of fun. Yeah. Very much. Awesome. So we definitely will have you back on again. I was about to say, if you want to have me back on the podcast for my, uh, I've got a lot of great Tinder stories. If y'all want to hear that, you probably oh. don't, but uh, I've got a lot of great fuck up stories, cat stories. Man, I love my cat. If you want to hear anything about me, <laughs> let me know. Let Charles know. Yeah, just definitely uh, let us know, and we'll uh, we'll get her back on here. ASAP. I'm trying to co-host. <laughs> She's working. She's I'm auditioning. Trying we- I'm trying to weasel my way in here. <laughs> and so, uh, again, one more time for everyone. So, what? Is, where can they find you on social media? Oh, Instagram is at Shelby S H E L B Y. It's pretty basic. Um, dot Autry, which is A U T R Y. Gotcha. And then my Twitter handle is going to be at Shelby, same spelling, underscore Autry, same spelling. If you can't figure it out, then we have an issue. You assume we have a problem. Yeah. Um, my my TikTok. Oh. <laughs> I'm going to plug my TikTok here. Go for it, yeah. Um, it is at your local cat mom. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well. And if you um, go and watch my earlier TikToks, which is only like 10, um, you'll see what ice cream place we worked at. So oh, if you want to know, that is true. Go yeah. follow and like my videos on TikTok. Sweet. Well, thank you so much again, <laughs> Shelby. Um, this has been Inside the Box with CZT Creations featuring Shelby Autry. And uh, thank you again for coming on this ride. My and uh, we are <laughs> we are episode six out of a hundred. We're getting there. We're keeping moving. And um, like always, keep it creative.